Fatty Boom Vladdy here with a follow-up video to a perfume review I did, um, and also haul. This was in a haul too. Um, a Moage Lyric Woman, and on the review I did, a YouTube commenter mentioned something about the color of this cap. Please excuse my dog. I'm going to try to continue with the noise. If it's not too distracting, I'm so sorry. But the the cap is supposed to be red or burgundy, and this, as you can see, is a metallic, like a dark gray. But everything, as you can see, I'll just show you more of the bottle, and that's raised, and the sides, everything about it. It's got the magnetic top, which they have recently switched to. Um, the box is heavy. It's velvet lined. There was cellophane on it with um, the, it had the same crown, I think, and it was a holographic image. And everything looks exactly the way I've seen it in pictures online everywhere, except the cap. Now the cap is the correct shape. And I also noticed that the male version, the Lyric Man, has this color top and that color gem. Um, so I'm not sure, I don't get the impression that this is fake. I get the impression that the factory where they actually make like their caps, I don't know who they hire to do all that, but somebody's got to do the machine work to put this stuff out. And that perhaps when it came from the bottler or what have you, they had made an error because the juice smells very nice, but very masculine. I mean, I did, it smells amazing. And, um, I think this, as I said in my review, that this, uh, is very unisex, but it, it, the more I smell it, the more I think it smells masculine, but wearable for women so I have all these theories I, I posted some pictures on Fragrantica or Fragrantica however you pronounce it and I got like half and half some people thought oh it was just a goof which is my theory uh, but they you know they shipped it out anyway oh I noticed that if you can see it says lyric there and on the outer cap I mean everything about it looks real it's very polished heavy Everything's correct except the red cap. Well, I contacted FragranceNet, and um, they were very sweet, very nice. And I told them essentially everything that I just said in the in this video, except for complaining about my dog. <laughs> he was probably barking <laughs> then too. Anyway. But um, after explaining to her, she was like, no problem. I mean, even though I bought this over 30 days ago, she still sent me a return label. And she put a note, a notation on my return deal, whatever case, I don't know how they handle it, that um, they will do a quality check, which means they'll, pro they'll have to open the box, remove the cellophane and everything to see if it has a gray cap. The person that I mentioned um, that commented on my YouTube video said they also ordered from FragranceNet and also received the wrong color cap. So everything I've looked at online that has the red burgundy cap. So they're going to take my return. They said if it is a gray cap when they do the, the quality check, they won't ship it out. They'll just give me a refund. So, and I'll probably, I, I have another order in, I'm anticipating getting a refund for this because I think that they just got a batch of a goof and, you know, anyway, you get the picture. So I just wanted to post this video um, because I still think they're legit fragrance net, but if you see anything either yes or no that it's fake or just a goof just leave a comment and thanks for watching bye